survey revealed about one of three divorces happen because of Facebook, and Facebook is a major contributor to ending marriages. Can you believe that? In many of these cases, exes found each other on the site, and then they rekindled their little love for each other. Remember your high school sweetheart? Hi. I love you. I always have. Anyway, in these cases, these spouses, uh, their movements were tracked based on posts and status. Duh, of course it is. Wait, were you actually speaking to your high school sweetheart there? Or was that, I don't no, understand I was being what ironic. I heard. It's okay. called irony. <laughs> okay. It's called uh, sarcasm and irony That's in okay. television. <laughs> so, okay, here's the question. Should there be a set of rules for couple, couples who use social media sites? Should there be actual like, rules? Mm -hmm. Joining us now is relationship expert and founder of TheDailyAffair.com, Stacey Nelkin. Good morning to you. Good morning. So I'm guessing the issue is that, like, forbidden fruit, that temptation, you see it there on Facebook, you see, you're like, hmm, is that it? Oh, that, that's that been happening since the beginning of Facebook, right? Yeah. People have been connecting with old friends, particularly, as you said, old flames. Um, there was a pastor in New Jersey several years ago in 2010 who actually had so many of his con me members of his congregation having affairs and being tempted as you said, of <laughs> that fruit of temptation, that he had to make all of them give up their Facebook accounts. Mm. Um, so, you know, things like this are happening over and over and over. And now what's happening is in over one third of all divorce cases, they are using evidence that has been found on Facebook in these trials. Yeah, that's, these, that's the crazy part. Cases. That yeah. this is being used as evidence right. in trials right. and part of divorce right. cases. Right. And one out of three, that's amazing that if that number huge. Is, is, is gigantic. Well, part of the problem is people really need a greater awareness of, of self-control they are yes <laughs> of what they are posting online if they're posting that they just took a vacation with their new boyfriend that and they're in separation with their husband that is going to be used against them mm. you know where they went how much money they spent on this vacation yeah, because all you're kinds in the process of, things, exactly, of getting a divorce are be dug up okay yeah. here's the question though so is it a big deal though because look all of us have passed all of us you know right. we have people that we dated here and there whatever over the years is it a bad idea to just see what they're up to is that such a big deal no it's human nature of course all of us want to do that I've done it have you guys checked on come on fess up <laughs> you know you know I'll right? fess up maybe, I'll tell you this maybe. right now maybe. I have actually met yeah. yeah yes I have and but I actually talked to my husband before I actually right. approached upon it because I don't want my husband to think or feel any different he's exactly. my passion he's my focus he's right. my everything that's what's important is number one set rules together as a couple sit down discuss what it is you're going to be doing online and whatever so make but rules together make rules together number two transparency as you said let your husband know who it is you're, yeah. you're talking to. If you got nothing you, to hide, don't hide it. Right. That will create more trust, which is what a relationship needs. Another really important thing is don't say negative things about your spouse or your partner online. Especially during divorce proceedings. It's costing you. During divorce proceedings um, or in Separation. Anything. Exactly. And uh, create time together. Create couple time. Spend time with the one you were in a relationship with rather than this online going down memory lane in a digital way. Listen, if, um, you're, if your relationship is safe and secure, then you have nothing to worry about. But if exactly. your relationship is already rocky, then yes. that's where the situation is and right. that's where the trust and the lack of trust comes into right. question. Right. Building a foundation of a strong marriage. And then you can say, honey, you know what? I actually spoke to my, my high school sweetheart and it was great and whatever. Yeah. But you you don't need to go there. People are romanticizing uh, the say, past yeah. at well, the expense of a present relationship. Yeah, because you always think about all the good times, oh, we did this, right. we did that, but you don't think about all the fights and all the issues and whatnot. That's exactly right. We yeah. remember the good, not the bad. Yeah, I mean, okay, so, so tell me this, though, okay? Yeah. So say we're following all the rules, but maybe we're suspicious of the partner. It's like, hey, they're on Facebook off an awful lot. I mean, when should you be worried? When, when do you know that you need to start to really have a conversation with them about, yo, what, who are you talking to right now? Well, hopefully you are staying current and having those conversations with your partner um, and you know you've got to then pick up signals if your partner and you are not discussing all the things that are going on then you as a husband let's say and your wife closes the computer every time you come near or hangs up the the cell phone yeah. you know those are things you need to be picking right. up listen um, you got to listen to that little inner voice if your inner, inner voice, voice is suspicious your inner voice is always right so just always gauge with that thank you so absolutely. much the fact that one out of three marriages are ending because of facebook is definitely food for thought and that's why we thought we'd have this conversation today stacy for more uh social media rules for couples please go to our website at pixlovin.com
Let's just do away with all of it, Sufi. Let's just get away. With it. No, let's not, let's be done with it. Right? I'd love go to go to back to the 1980s, man. Nice? Big hair, hanging out, <laughs> Madonna on the radio, LL Cool J first record. I could go back to that. Let's do it. Yeah. All right, uh, 751 right now.